Hey, FNAF OMV. But do they like... Oh, no, they should. <laughs> like, go, you want. Go, get up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Cool. No. Cheesecake is a lie. End of stream. Yeah, all the flashing lights. Hey, looking at Flame V. Do they like. Oh, no, they should. <laughs> like, go, you won. Go, get up there. <laughs> get out there. I like how they put 4MV here as well on the bottom so they don't have to walk too far to get to the trophy. They knew. That Falcons and 4MV down there, just to make sure. But here you go. You're back to back, PMSL CSA, champions, 4MV. Go ahead, Max, back to the Goblin boys. Precious trophy! Again! It has been claimed! <laughs> nah, but really, Jason, right, looking at 4MV, it's not even close, like, best team in CSA, right? I think we will have to agree on that one. Sorry, I can't. I can't. Respond until you talk to me only in the Golem voice. I'll ask him after this. <laughs> Aww. Now, if only 4MV could do this again at PMGC. PMWC was a letdown. PMGC, though, where they had four place finish last season or last year, can they potentially improve? But also, IHC, the return or the champions of last season, didn't qualify. With one invitational spot left, the question is will they get it or will it be another team? I don't know. I don't know if I want to see them currently, but there's a chance it could happen. Come at it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. If they if they get invite back and, and we're working the show, you know I'm going to go hard on IHC if they're in the group that I'm working on. So, Jason, Max, man, what do you guys think about IHC? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Been, been kind of trash all year. Been kind of? Not great? But nah. They're like, who's taking the trophy home? It's, you take it. I take it. You already have one, so I can have the other one. We just need to win, like, no, three more times next year, and then every player gets a trophy. <laughs> All right, biggest letdown of the season. Go. Oh. Um, I find it's a bit rough, but I'd have to say R8, man. I had way high expectations yep. after spring. R8 going backwards. They were, uh, yep. I thought, I didn't know to a team. I mean, I didn't know what to think. I didn't think they, I, we discussed before, I don't think they needed to add anyone to the roster. They were already li really good last season. They obviously didn't do too well when it came to PMWC, but then they added Naomi. They took a couple weeks to figure out what comp, what like uh, roster they wanted to go with. And then they go to finals and they switch it after day one because it didn't work out. Yeah. Then they switch it. No, they didn't switch it again for day three. Wait, Jason, by the way, podium position here, looking at Stalwart, jumped up just above DRS in that last game. Got on nice. the podium. Very well done. And here, the breakoff point to make into PMGC still is AOR. And like roster mania. Obviously, if you're a team qualified at PMGC, you're not allowed to do any roster changes going into the event. However, if you're not playing in PMGC, you can do roster swaps. So I'm curious to see what roster changes we might have now, what roster changes we might have after PMGC. I think we're going to have quite a few. We had already a few happening between spring and fall, but I think from 2024 to 2025, We've seen a lot of great individual players. Major Pride, Aura, De Muerte, AOR. And then for your... Couldn't do much in the finals. They didn't do much in the finals. Falcons passed them in points, meaning that they got qualified through points ahead of qualifying through the actual standings. Yeah, there's not much I would change with that. Um, maybe Arc Red I would like to have seen qualify. Over who, I don't know. But look at this, Doc. Gunslinger. What's the damage? I have to move my camera. That's Almost only like 3,000. Yeah. Almost just like 3,000 more. He had more than that over top before. And we see Falcon as well. Like, look at Falcon top difference. It's one elimination, but it's 5,000 damage. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. How and much then the of damage that? fall off there. Yeah. How expect. He was absolutely on fire utility wise. This is already cool. You have two players of 4MV, right, Jason, in second and third when it comes to top fraggers. 
So yeah, Falak will be your grenade master of the full season of 2020. Pretty decent. Maybe stop the hot drop and you would have had more bonus points. Um, just just where you go to PMGC League and they continue hot dropping. Oh, they just no. hot drop a new team. A new opponent has a uh, risen. I hope not. Please don't do that. Sancha is the guy. No fear, fearless, eh? It is going to be the boy, the man, the myth, the legend. It's Doc himself. We knew it was going to happen. Need, <laughs> we need some sort of name for him. You know, we have like the Terminator, Dark Dante. No flop, Doc. <laughs> he never flops in his games. We'll, we'll keep uh, R&D in that. <laughs> we'll keep 